morning folks kind of the light is perfect back here this morning as i'm doing my little walkabout with tucker we do this every morning i throw the ball which we're gonna have to like pause to do that let's have it boy so i'm not even sure have y'all met tucker Tucker is our golden retriever that is ball crazy. And I walk the farm two or three times a day using my thrower. Oh, nope, Tuck, come out of the garden. <laughs> and I throw the ball for him. So let's throw this and get him up. He may never find that. I didn't look where I was going very good. Anyway, here is a look. Um, I think we looked at the peonies the other day. Um, I shared, you know, we're in the midst of beginning to harvest, and that is pretty amazing. But the rest of this garden is looking so awesome. Yeah, I threw his ball where he can't find it, darn it. Anyway, just, <laughs> I think he's looking for help, y'all. You have to wait, buddy. The rest of the garden is looking good, plus the light is perfect here this morning. So this is one of my original gardens. It's set up very differently um, now, but we kind of do some fun things back here. This is kind of where I stick stuff that I don't have anything anywhere else for it to go. As you can see, we have cover crop growing over here, which is about to be turned under or extinguished with the tarp. So right here in front of me has got some leftover Bupleurum plantings. Um, so Bupleurum is a cool flower, cool season hardy annual. It's an amazing foliage. It's also a great little um, small beneficial insect um, bloom. It's got little teeny flowers. And y'all look at this is what I really wanted to show you. First off, over here on the right, these are my tuberoses, which we can winter over tuberoses in the ground here in zone 7B, 8A. But this is our first plantings of sunflowers. We pushed the envelope this year and really covered them right after we planted them. You know, we'd start um, sunflowers indoors in plug trays. And look what he's found, y'all, for it. I have to reward him. Good boy, good boy. Let's throw this ball for him again and then we'll go back and look at the sunflowers. Anyway, every Saturday morning, let's have it, buddy. Um, every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. over on Facebook Live, I actually take you through how and why I start sunflowers indoors. And so here's the results. You can see down there, this is two plantings. I start out three trays a week, um, and these are the youngest. No, I'm sorry. These are younger than these down here. And so we're just going to have a look, and these will be a huge boon to our bouquet making for our members only market. So these guys, I mean, is it possible that we could actually have sunflowers for Mother's Day? I do not know. Who knows where his ball is? Anyway, so the sunflowers are coming along beautifully. Look down here. So I typically have three different varieties and look over here this is my elephant garlic we do not cut this as a cut flower we grow it to eat <laughs> so we do grow vegetables gang um, this is daucus a carrot but we grow this for the flower and then look at this amazing ami magus this is of commercial customers, bouquet customers, everybody loves. They think it's Queen Anne's Lace, but it's not, y'all. You can find all these seeds over on our gardenersworkshop.com website. Um, and so these are these were fall planted, and they were out in um, the field with no, we never row covered these, and they aren't netted, y'all. They really should be netted. So our peonies, I'm getting ready to go over there and cut all those ones that you can see cracking. Um, I'm, oh my goodness, look at that poor dog. He can't find his ball again. And those are our Lysianthus over there with a little bit of Bupleurum that reseeded from last year in it. Let's take a little step across here. 
So this is our Lysianthus. Normally it would be in biofilm, but this is one of our no-till beds, and so we're giving it a try. And look at all this gorgeous fever few, and see if you notice the difference in the habit. This is the more common variety, the single bloom, but see how much tighter this foliage is than this down there? It's different varieties. We grow about five different varieties. Oh, this dog is very, very pitiful. Um, we grow about five different varieties of feverfew. It is an enormous filler flower. Also, I mean, the creatures love it in our garden and it's just great. And you'll find, I think we have four or five different seed varieties over on our website. So gang, I'm gonna walk up here Oh my goodness, there goes a school bus. We just don't see school buses anymore, right? So I'm getting ready to cut all of these that I can see what color they're gonna be. All right, folks. I guess I'm gonna have to go assist my dog who is currently standing in a flower bed. He's usually pretty good about not doing that. So I am off to the warehouse today, Fridays is um, a day at the Fulfillment Center where my sister and I brainstorm together. Um, the Fulfillment staff is not there, it's just us. And today we're being joined by Kelly, our IT person, to um, work on some projects together. So friends, till we meet again, and don't forget, every Saturday morning, Facebook Live, um, you can get to our Facebook page from thegardenersworkshop.com. The link is at the bottom of every page. It's also in my Instagram feed. Um, so folks, I hope you join me over there. I'm jumping all over different social medias to just really, I want to help everybody at all stages to grow great flowers. And guess what's way down there that you can't see? Tomorrow morning, we're looking at my corn and beans and what I'm gonna be doing with that huge patch of clover. So I hope you will join me. This is pitiful, y'all. What's the matter, buddy? All right, y'all, for the sake of this poor dog, I'm getting off here to help him go find his ball. Till we meet again, friends, ciao.